Our last one here from Karen, also from Melbourne. She wants to know if we plan to move away from coal mining to reduce our carbon emission footprint. And Daryl, again from Melbourne, would like to know how we're positioning the portfolio to benefit from batteries and electric vehicles. Um, uh, well, we, we're not going to move uh, away from coal mining, but, but it's important that we, we understand that at BHP, the majority of the coal that we mine is metallurgical coal, uh, and there is no real alternative uh, to metallurgical coal for the manufacture of steel, and indeed, uh, you know, the, the creation uh, of a number of critical metals from ore bodies uh, that the world needs to, to, to go about its business. Uh, but we do have a, a, a substantial energy coal business. We have reduced that slightly. Uh, recently, we sold out of our position in North America and we demerged uh, our, our, our South African coal operations to, to, with South 32. Uh, we expect that the world will continue to use coal uh, for its energy for, 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 for many decades to come. Uh, and, and, and we believe that we can still profit from that by having very efficient coal operations on the energy sector. We've got some of the lowest cost operations in the world, one in New South Wales and one in, uh, uh, in Colombia. Uh, um, but at the same time, we do expect that, 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 that coal will have less and less a, a, a share, if you like, of the total energy emissions uh, within the world. And therefore, we're going to be seeing a lot more growth in things like copper and possibly steel, which are, are, are critical to the electrification, the decarbonisation and, and, and more renewables in, in, in the world. Uh, sort of related to that uh, is uh, the, the, the question on, on batteries. Um, we, we are actually very much part of the, the battery value chain through our nickel production in Western Australia. In fact, our nickel production in Western Australia is particularly suited to the types of nickel that you need to make um, the batteries, for example, for, for electric cars. And, and we've actually retooled our operation there so we can sell more and more into that, uh, in, in, into that marketplace. But let me come back to metallurgical coal because that's another part of what we, we have to do. Um, you know, it, admits just as, it admits just as much CO2 when it's used to make steel as burning a piece of coal in a power station does. Uh, and, I know, and that, along with things like cement making and, and petrochemicals, is a very significant contribution to CO2, which is not related just to the energy sector. And the only solution to that is carbon capture and storage. And we at BHP have taken, uh, made the choice to be a leader in the development and the, uh, 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 and, and the nurturing of carbon capture and storage technology, uh, um, primarily to deal with what we think is our, is our footprint or our customers' footprint in, in things like steel making. But of course, if that comes off, you know, it will it further help mitigate the, the continuing, albeit lesser use of, of coal as we go forward. And that's important because for many countries in the world, coal is still their cheapest source of energy, their most reliable source of energy. And to deny them that right away uh, would run the risk of actually plunging them or in, into poverty or preventing them from ever lifting themselves out of poverty or even getting onto the grid.